Hi, thanks so much for joining us. This is Shannon from Strategic Intervention Solutions. Our website is sis, the number four, teachers.org. I'm super excited to share with you on our YouTube channel today about how we play a game that's one of my favorite strategy games. It's called Rotten Apple. The nice thing about it is it's a very easy setup. There's not a lot to really, no game board that's really needed, just counters. I like to use my two-sided counters. You certainly could use clear counters. Parents could play at home with pennies or even have one that looks a different you know, color, like a, like a nickel might be the rotten apple. These are kind of all of our good apples. Over here, sort of our rotten apple. I've also played this with my own kids in a restaurant where we've taken 12 sugar packets and those are the good apples and we've taken one sweet and low packet and that's kind of the rotten apple. Total here, I have a total of 12 different red apples that are looked at as kind of the good apples. And then we end up having one that is the rotten apple. And so what we're gonna to kinda to do with our 13 counters is we do not want to end up with the rotten apple. So I'm sitting shoulder to shoulder with my partner. You could also play this game across the table from your partner because you can still look at it from the same vantage point. You can use this video tutorial in your classroom to show your students how to play. You also can give this to students to look at on the YouTube channel and they can figure out how to play the game together, maybe on Monday and then on Tuesday they kind of play the game out with referencing the video if needed. We have 13 counters. The object of the game is I want my partner to get stuck with that rotten apple on the last pull. My partner would like for me to get stuck with that one. So what we're gonna do is when it's our turn, my partner's gonna decide if she wants to pull one, two or three counters. It's totally up to her, but what she'll want to watch is to make sure that as the counters are dwindling, that that last pull that I get stuck with that rotten apple. There's certain st strategies that will come out when students play this game. You could play this game as early as four years old, and it might be, oh, I won, oh, my partner won, but as repeated play happens, kids start to question their metacognition and start to develop strategies that can help them. So I'm going to let my partner go first. She's gonna decide if she wants to pick one, two, or three counters. It's my pick if I wanna pick one, two, or three counters. As you start to look at the counters, kids might come up with different strategies that might help them decide if they're going to win. In this case, my partner has lost because on her poll, she's stuck with the rotten apple. We're gonna reset the game and play again. What you want your kids to do or students need to do is to try to figure out how is it that I strategically beat my partner. Kids will come up with things like maybe it was because she went first. So on this round, I'm gonna see if I go first, will I win or will my partner win? I'm gonna go ahead and take the three again so my partner is going to lose at the game. She ends up taking that rotten apple. What you want students to do is while they're playing this game is repetitive play will help them recognize different strategies. We're certainly not gonna share the secret as to how I keep winning from Rotten Apple because there's something mathematically that I'm doing within the counters that we're working with. We have 12 red counters and one yellow counter. The strategy is really for students to figure out what is a way that's a foolproof way that will make it so that they can always win. Having kids share out their strategies and compare their strategies is a really great part of this game. This is a great addition to our, um, our strategy games that you can add to your library in your math workshop. We hope that you visit our website at sis, the number four, teachers.org. We have strategy games that you can download that go along with the math practices and help students to kind of build the strategies they need to for 21st century math. Our website is sis, the number four, teachers.org.